My story is just a part of me, it doesn't define me. In 2005, I was playing soccer when I fell and I twisted my ankle. My mom took me to the doctor and the doctor said, yep, it's a sprained foot, wrapped my foot in an ace bandage and sent me home. Early Saturday morning, my mom calls back to the doctor and says, uh, Sean's still not feeling right. And the doctor said, ah, flu's going around, see you on Monday. Um, Sunday morning at about 2 a.m., I wake up, um, I'm unable to breathe, my body's turning blue, and uh, my temperature's over 105, so my mom rushes me to the uh, hospital where um, I would later have to uh, be transported to the Penn State Milton S. Hershey Hospital where they put me into a drug-induced coma. I somehow had managed to develop blood poisoning. We don't know from what, but I'm alive and that's what matters. Um, in order to save my life, they had to amputate my limbs, and I think what my situation has brought to me is a better outlook on life and just knowing the value of time. My first experience with swim team was by a woman. Her name was Phyllis Beck. She was a friend of my mom. She ran the natatorium uh, at our local high school. And part of the thing uh, with being in fourth grade is you have to go to the pool and swim. Well, with me just being a new amputee and whatever, and she didn't want to have to pull me out of a pool, so she had me come in and swim with a couple of her uh, high school swimmers. My personal goals for swimming are really just making it to the Paralympics. I really want to be able to compete. I have dreams of uh, standing on the stage where uh, na the American flag's in the background and they're playing uh, the national anthem and I'm just on stage like, ah, like USA, USA.